past year and a half, we followed the story of Troy Ross, the son of Great Falls High assistant football coach Wes Ross, as he battled a life-threatening autoimmune condition. The Ross family has received overwhelming support, but now they plan to pay some of that back by taking the Troy Strong campaign statewide. This is Troy Ross and his sister Kennedy. Who's got bigger muscles? Me. Me. You sure? Troy loves yeah. to tell you about his favorite movie. Jurassic Park. Park. Jurassic uh, World Park. He can tell you his favorite dinosaurs. Oh, <gasps> my record to books is Endoraptors. And he already knows what he wants to be when he grows up. Football player. Mm -hmm. To the naked eye, he's a typical four-year-old boy. But inside, he's battling a rare autoimmune disease called pulmonary capillaritis, which nearly took his life two years ago. <coughs> Troy had nearly three quarters of his blood supply in his lungs, and he's alive today because of transfusions, something the Ross family is thankful for, even if it wasn't something they'd ever thought about before their son got sick. Uh, the biggest thing is it's, it's for those people out there who haven't needed it yet and might someday. Um, had that blood not been available when Troy needed it, um, he wouldn't be here. Wes and Callie know firsthand that there's a constant need for blood donation and it's something that's not top of mind for most Montanans. It won't become important until it's somebody that you love and then it becomes the most important. So this summer, through a partnership with the American Red Cross, they're organizing a statewide Troy Ross blood drive using their son's face and story to drive home the point. And what a face it is. He's naughty, but he's pretty likable. Everybody likes him. That's why he gets away with being naughty is because <laughs> everybody likes him. He's very, very annoying sometimes. No, you are. Right when I'm about to do something fun, here are two little legs walking into someone's room mm. and annoying her. Nah. The event is still in its initial stages, but so far locations have been secured in Billings, Bozeman, Missoula, Helena, and Great Falls. And we're doing it close to Troy's birthday, so we think that's pretty special, and it's right before the 4th of July, which typically blood donations aren't, you know, flying in to donate because it's holiday time and things to do, so it's just a really good push for that. Blood donations made a difference for the Ross family. Through this event, they hope to make a difference for someone else. When you have a face to something and you have a name and you have a story, that makes you stop and want to go and do it rather than, you know, the things that are like, oh, you can save three lives. Well, when you see a life that, you know, you, that was saved and continues to be saved, it, it changes your your feelings on it. Thank you, everyone. Well, to sign up for a donation slot, you can visit redcrossblood.org and search Troy Strong or find more information on our website, montanasports.com. We'll be right back.